Hi, Logan here for EasyCoffeeHouse.com, and today we're going to be making a cappuccino on the Breville Barista Express. I've gotten a couple requests for this video, so let's get started. First of all, you'll need to make sure you have some good beans up in the bean hopper. I have some Sumatran beans, and I have another video on the channel. Um, these are from World Market. They're actually very, very good, and um, in the video I tell you how to get a really good deal on them. So have those up here. As you can see, my grind setting, I'm going to be using a single shot, and I have the single wall, single shot portafilter, or single wall, single shot basket inside the portafilter here. I have the grind size set to seven for those of you who want the settings that I'm using, and the rest is just factory default. I haven't changed the temperature or the size on the machine. So you'll need your beans. You'll need a cup to hold the espresso in. You'll need your pitching frother, which comes with the machine. And you will need a cup to put the cappuccino in. Now, this isn't an actual cappuccino cup, but I imagine a lot of you following along at home um, won't be using them, and instead will be using a nice big mug. As you can see, this one is from Apple, and uh, this has been serving me well for the last couple of years, so I'll use that. And most importantly, you'll also need some good milk. I'm using fat-free milk, although you could use 1%, 2%, something in that range. So let's get started. Um, also, one last thing to check, make sure your machine has enough water before we begin. I just pulled the water tank out. Mine is full because I got it already and I've let my machine come up to temperature before I started the video. So let's pull the shot, and to do that, we're gonna bump in the cradle and let it do its work. So now it's important to remember that as you do this, I like to uh, shake, the, shake the basket so that it gets nice and even in there, and it makes tamping much easier. Now we're gonna do the tamp. See if we can even that out a little bit more. We're going to use our finger to pull this back and try to even it out. Put it down on the counter. And yep, you guys can see that. Pull down our tamper. And we're just going to go for trying to get a nice, even, heavy pressure tamp. Do a nice quarter turn there. And stick it back in the machine. Get that little bit excess off the little lip, that way it doesn't clog up inside the machine. And we're going to put it into the group head here and lock it in. Now I'm going to be using one of the standard mugs. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like using little rocket ship mugs when I'm drinking a espresso just um, to drink it plain. When I'm using recipes, these mugs are much easier. So let's position under the head and hit the start button. And we're going to be using the single cup setting because I did a single shot um, grind. And as you can see, it's starting up. And there we go. And there was our shot. There we go, got the drips. And as you can see, so nice. Let's see if I can get that on camera. There is a crema in there. It's not... Um, super thick, but it is pretty decent. At least for what I've gotten with this machine, I'm still tweaking it and having fun. So let's see, we're gonna unlock this head and go dump this out. So give me one second. As you can see, the puck is nice and dry because we left it in there for a couple seconds. I'm going to empty this and rinse it. And the easy way, after I just tapped this in the garbage can once or twice and came out like this, I use the sink and the rest of it just comes all right out. And then an easy way to clean off the machine, after you have the, um, oh, it's wet. After you have it all clean, put it back inside and hit the one cup button just to let it rinse itself. Not only does that rinse the group head and the inside of the portafilter, but it also will rinse out down here this little drip tray. 
which is very nice and very easy to do. Now we're going to take that off and as you can see we needed to rinse that because ooh, how do I show that? Okay well there are a lot of grounds in there so it's some pretty um, brown coffee-ish water and let's just rinse that off and personally as I do this I like to clean as I make it that way at the end of the time I can just sit back and enjoy my cappuccino instead of having to uh, think about cleaning the machine. So there we go. That is all the work we need to do to clean it. Now let's get our milk ready. So let's take our pitcher. This is freshly washed out. And then take our milk. And we're going to pour it in there until it is under the... Um, there's a little spout right here and there's a line. And I can't show you because of the camera angle but we're going to pour it till it's under the line. Then we're going to be using our nozzle here and I'll just adjust it and turn it on to let it heat up. And you'll know it's ready when you can see a nice gust of steam coming out of it and this light is steady. The, when the light is blinking that means that it's heating up. So we're just going to wait here. And as you can see now it's uh, shooting the water through. And there we go. We're now ready, so we're going to turn that off, and then turn it back on. And because it's a cappuccino, we're going to stretch the milk. You should hear this sound right here, and see some foam inside there. This time right now is when we're stretching the milk and giving it that nice microphone. There we go. Now that is a perfect sound. And once we get to the level of foam inside the pitcher, then we're going to change our motion and go to the heating phase. So right now we're stretching it and getting it nice and foamy, and that's just about enough. So now we're going to put our steam wand over here to the side and make sure that, that milk is swirling around inside. And we're just going to use our hand to hold on to it. And when it gets too hot to touch, then you know that your milk is just about the right temperature. There we go, that's about it for me. So I'm going to turn it off. You can see the steam coming up as it uh, shuts down. We're going to turn it back on for a second just to let the head purge. And I'll wipe that off after the end of the video. So now you can see we have foamy milk, but you see those big bubbles? We don't want those. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap our canister, our container, Until all those big bubbles disappear, then we're just going to swirl it in a circle. This is going to incorporate that milk and the foam together so that um, it's nice and silky. You may notice as you swirl it that some more bubbles pop up. That's completely fine. That just means that some of the bubbles are rising up out of the milk. And our goal here is just to get that nice and swirled. And that is just about good. Now, we're going to, I personally pour in my coffee first. Um, there are people who argue for both ways. I put in the coffee first, and I'm just going to go put this in the sink. And now it is time to pour in our milk. Here we go. And let's get that nice, rich, thick foam in there. And here we go. A mug-sized, nice hot cappuccino. And if I can adjust the camera angle, let's see, it's a new tripod, so here we go. There you go. That is our cappuccino that we just created together. This has been Logan here for EasyCoffeeHouse.com. Thank you very much for watching, and please check out my other videos. If you have any suggestions or requests for drinks, uh, let me know down in the comments section or send me a message. I'd be happy to show you how to make them.